Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly oracle reading with me, Sarah from Divinely You. And Divinely You is the idea that all aspects of you make you divinely unique. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'd like to invite you to settle in, ground in with me, and we're going to take a couple of deep breaths together in through the nose and out through the mouth. It feels, I feel very called to remind all of us to zoom out and detach from the outside world and really connect or reconnect and dive deep into connecting with ourself. <clears throat> we know that there are a lot of events currently going on. There's going to be, continue to be a lot of events in the world that can really derail us from who we are, who we are put here to be, our purpose, our passion, um, all of the things. And this, with this week, with this new moon and this opportunity to set these intentions and all the other big energies that are happening this week and other planetary conversations happening this week, it really is a time to get connected with ourselves, spend time alone, spend time in meditation. You may want to even revisit this video midweek to really just get reconnected and regrounded with yourself. And um, so it really just felt, I just felt very called to have that um, moment with you. So let's see what's in the no let's go with the let's go with the magic magical pisces fishy people <laughs> see what's going on and creating your and believing in your own magic um this week and let's see what's in, in store for pisces and that is the second time I have dropped cards from this deck while doing these readings. Excuse me. Getting close and personal with my camera. <laughs> um, oh, that's how I keep flipping cards. Oh, nope, we're good. There we go. Okay. Um, I've dropped cards from this deck probably three times today doing these videos and then I look through the deck and it's like they're half of them are flipped during the right side up but anyway <laughs> so let's see what's up for Pisces we got oh the 23 card that's interesting I usually don't look at the number but the 23 number has been coming up a lot lately this is the con um the confidence card, um, it comes with time and practice. Yes, it does. Um, this is really interesting because the first thing when I read this is about time and, and practice is I thought of yarn crafting. So I am a crocheter and, um, you know, I often am in crochet groups and people are like, how do I learn this? How do I learn that? And it's literally time and practice it's time and practice. And so confidence is something to practice, right? You, you, confidence is not something that you necessarily have. It's something that you practice being. Um, it's, it's, you know, to get more confident at public speaking or confident at doing videos. Um, it's a matter of practicing it and allowing the time for that to, to occur. And so, you know, maybe you're learning something new, maybe you're developing a new skill um, for yourself. And there's this, like, a, you want to be confident at what you're doing, but right now you maybe aren't so confident. And it's a matter of just giving yourself the time and space, um, to be more confident at what you're doing. And so, um, let's get something from sacral chakra. Cause I'm feeling like there's some creative 
um, something occurring for you. Um, so let's see if we can get a little clarification on that with the sacral chakra. Also, I just happen to love this deck. So I'll take any opportunity <laughs> to pull from it. This looks like the emotions card. Um, it is the emotions card. Oh, is this the confidence card? Maybe this is about expression. Um, there, you know, there is a lot of like emotional intelligence type energy right now and being more confident at being emotional, just typically not a water sign problem. Um, but it can be depending on what other, uh, stuff you've got going on in your chart. Maybe you're not so confident being emotional or experiencing emotions. And so, or maybe you're not so confident at expressing your emotions or sharing your emotions or how you're feeling with other people. So perhaps this is an invitation to tell, share your emotions with other people. If something is making you sad, or even if it's making you happy, but you don't want people to know you're happy, or you don't want people to know you're sad, because maybe you don't want to, you know, I don't know, burden them, whatever, maybe, I don't know. Um, but to be more confident at expressing your emotions with an even temper, even expression, um, maybe you're someone, oh, that's what this feels like. This feels like you're, you maybe have expressed emotions, but it's explosive. It's dramatic. And perhaps this is an, an invitation to develop the confidence or practice, um, allowing yourself the space to express your emotions in a constructive fashion. Um, yeah. And so, This is a, a invitation to when you have emotional reaction to check in with that on your own, like have some space for some journaling, some processing time to feel the emotion and then practice expressing it in a more calm, constructive way. And um, in order to really allow the receiver to be with it, be with you, hear you, um, it's having the confidence in yourself to present the emotion with, with grace, with stability, and that's where the confidence comes in, but this is a practice. And so the first couple of times you may be, you know, okay for the first few minutes, but then, so it's a practice, right? It's, it's practicing sharing your emotions um, in the way that people can receive them without you being reactive. And so take that emotional response time, the reaction time to be with yourself with the emotions and then bring them to whomever you need to present them to. So again, connect with yourself um, and take the time to set intentions for this new moon. Um, be self-aware of your emotional reactions and um and how you may be presenting them and people aren't hearing you um and making adjustments and shifts accordingly i thank you so much for tuning in uh sending you a lot of love for this week and i'll talk to you on the next reading Stop recording now and